All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. If you're new, I work on old Mopars like this and other old cars. And sometimes I get to go drag race. But today we're talking about rust encapsulator from Eastwood. I did a little test on that a while back. I want to show you exactly what that looks like. Here we are. So that's my same rust encapsulator I've been using the entire time. This is an old toolbox that I dug out of the corner over there, poured the rusty water out of. So that's all I'm doing to this. I knocked that rust off here. There's a spider crawled out. Rust knocked off any loose rust scales, which is this. Now I'll take my pre-painting prep. I'll put some in this water bottle just to show you. Coat it. I'll use this random old t-shirt and wipe it off. Probably throw a little undercoating over it. So I got this 3M professional grade rubberized undercoating. Just gonna do the bottom half of this. PSI pressure washer on it, see if I can't knock it off of that. I guess that was more of an extreme test than I really wanted, but I'll leave this out here for a couple years and see how bad it rusts on this side. So this is the toolbox that I shot up, literally, on the video I did a while back. It's been about two years now, and I'll put a link to that video up. And then I did the bottom side of a 65 Mustang, kind of like I'm going to do the Coronet behind me. And what I did here, after I shot the whole thing, you can see this bottom half, I just ran a piece of masking tape across and shot this with 3M undercoating, uh, just to kind of have a reference. I let that dry for a day or so, came back, and I wanted to give it a rock chip test. <laughs> and I shot it with a 12 gauge. So that part of the video is probably not um, out there anymore. I went ahead and removed it just in case it scared someone. But anyway, uh, Here's what that looks like. This thing's been sitting outside for two years. Uh, just out in the weeds. It was full of rusty water. I dumped it out, dug it out, and I said, man, I need to show them that because a lot of people haven't seen it. So the bottom of the coronet behind me is about to get this same treatment. I may undercoat some spots, but that black right there is what the rust encapsulator looked like after two years of being out in the sunlight. So let me get you in close to it. Still looks pretty good. Like I said, this was direct sunlight. I went ahead and got out this pick and I did hit a couple spots just to show. It is not totally. It is not totally bulletproof or anything. But if I hit it at an angle, some might come up. Get it wiped off there. A few little pecks. So not the best, not the worst. Um, the actual undercoating here, if I take that side of the pick and just drag across, see if he comes up. But it, if it was a rock pick, pick or something, that's really not bad um, to do it like that. In my mind, I've got, a, I've got another video that I think is better or better suited for everyday use. Um, I did the rusting caps later, and then I did Raptor liner over it. Let me show you some Raptor liner. So keep in mind, I've got an old farm shop out here. That was my dad's. Um, I shot this Raptor liner in the bed of an 87 model D100 truck. And before I did that, I just shot it here on the wall. Uh, just trying to test my gun out because I never shot it before this. But you look at that, it scuffs it, but it does not take it down to the bare metal. Try this side if I can really drag into it. See, it peeled, peeled it up here, but still not bare metal yet. And this was absolutely not prepped at all. I took a razor blade a while back and tried to scrape it off because I thought it looked ugly on the wall and I shouldn't have done that. But uh, to show you what this Raptor liner looks like after a year and a half, it's still pretty durable out here. You know? Get you in there close to it. I think it's still pretty sharp. 
I did shoot it on this trash can too first, uh, and it is starting to flake there. So I wouldn't recommend it over uh, bare plastic, but um, a metal surface like this, it'd be great. I have some left. I may end up shooting on this car, but yeah, this video just kind of kind of came to me. I forgot all about this thing. I said I should go should go dig that out and show them, you know, what it looks like after two years. Uh, hopefully, you'll come back. Uh, do the see the uh, coating of the coronet behind me. I'll go through those steps in the next video. But anyway, anyway I appreciate y'all watching. And if you come back, I'll show you just how I'm going to coat the bottom side of this coronet. <laughs>